Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Pokemon games for the Nintendo Wii. Poke Park Wii, Pikachu's adventure, is an RPG. You play as Pikachu and have to save the Poke Park. Thus, you roam around, talk to other Pokemon and play lots of minigames. There are 193 Pokemon in the game. You can chase and headbutt other Pokemon, an, act an activity that you'll do a lot, and you can even battle other Pokemon. The game is filled with activities, and as we games usually get creative, this one gets too, in the many ways you can use your controller in the minigames. And the world looks beautiful, there are around 8 zones you can explore. The game's camera can be difficult sometimes though, as since you play with the controller sideways, you don't control the camera manually, and the world might feel empty. And the controls can be wonky at times. But aside of these three flaws, the game is awesome. Pokemon Battle Revolution feels like an unbaked masterpiece. It feels like those cake boxes you can buy from stores. All the elements for a delicious game are there, but the cake isn't made yet. That's how this game feels. The game doesn't have a story, it's just battles, you get 10 beautiful arenas and some awesome looking animations, but the lack of death makes the game a bad one. Sure, you can customize your character and the game has many Pokemon, each with its different attacks, but still, the game feels pretty much shallow. On paper, it has multiplayer, but it's a pain to connect your Wii for online battles and there are no online leaderboards or tournaments. You just play some random battles with random players and that's it. That's about all of the game actually, random battles in random stages. It could have been a masterpiece if it had only more depth. The game is on the right track, but it has to improve a lot. That's why I don't recommend you play it. Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond is as cute as the first Poke Park game. I will always be in a good mood when I hear Pikachu's adorable war cry. The game is as cute as ever. And this time you don't play just as Pikachu, you also play as Snivy, Tepig and Oshuat. The game consists again on minigames, Pokemon chases where you have to headbutt Pokemon and battles. And this time they added the ability to play the game with your friends too. The first Poke Park game was single player only, but this time you can play the game with your friends. Up to 4 players can play the game. The game gets repetitive, it's true, and the lack of camera control and occasional wonky controls can get to you. But aside of those, the game is as cute and as awesome as ever. The two Poke Park games are charming. Once you lay your hands on them, you can hardly stop playing more. And in Pokemon Rumble, you are a toy. An aggressive toy, because you find other toys and beat them up. The game is a linear beat em up. The levels are bland and the character models look ugly. Some of them really ugly. The game is repetitive and well, it's no broken or anything, it works well during gameplay, but I still wouldn't recommend the game to anyone. It's too bland. There are better games out there. My Pokemon Ranch can't be called a game. It's in a grey area. The game is a Wii channel where you can put poorly rendered polygon Pokemon into a field guarded by a fence. You can put toys in the entrapment to see how the Pokemon react and there are some animations based on what you do. But you can hardly call it a game. You don't do that much in this game. And the last three games, Pokemon Fushigi no Dungeon, Ikuzo Arashi no Bokedan, Pokemon Fushigi no Dungeon, Mezase Hikari no Bokedan, and Pokemon Fushigi no Dungeon, Susume Ono no Bokedan, are almost the same game, but some stylistic differences set them apart. They are Japan only. So, in one game you play as fire Pokemon, in another with only water type Pokemon in your team, and in the other only with electric type Pokemon in your rescue team. 
you go to a hub and take on missions. The character models are the same as in the past games and are ugly in my opinion, but the gameplay has a lot of that. The characters moves in, move in squares and attack in a turn-based style that is also in real time just like in the other Mystery Dungeon games. Also the Pokemon attacks can change the weather in the game, which is cool. You have to feed them in order to raise their health and if they are hungry they health not only that it doesn't grow back anymore, but it also depletes. The Pokemon Dungeon games for Wii are Japan exclusives. So, I have to admit, I've never played them. What I've told you about the Pokemon Dungeon games was from reviews I've read on the internet. By the way, did you know gaming did a really great review about the Pokemon Dungeon games? This one's the last ones I've showed you here. I will leave a link in the description to that video. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks, you have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.